Okay, gonna slice the pizza now. Oh, that just sounds promising. Just the crunch of the marshmallows. Oh, God. I don't know what is wrong with me. Oh, God, it sounds so wrong. Oh, it sounds so wrong. All right. I need to get a nice marshmallow piece here. So, here we go. Not bad. I um I feel that the the crunchiness of the marshmallows kinda adds on to the crunchiness of the pizza even though it's kind of floppy. Um I've done some weirder things. I mean I've actually put cheese sticks on pizzas and cooked them so long that the cheese sticks would actually explode. All that stuff. And that was delicious. Oh, this, oh, this, pepperoni and marshmallow. Not as bad as you think. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. I likes it. Mmm. A bad worst. <laughs> but, um, hmm. Again, not that bad. Um, most people would wonder why am I doing a TMNT kind of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of pizza. Well, I figured I was always an '80s kid. You know, even though look at my hair, you know, and all that stuff. It kind of looks like I'm out of the 50s, but, you know, I grew up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I remember some of the toys. One of them in particular was the, um, was the turtle van. And they, they had pizzas that you would shoot out. If you looked close enough at the pizzas, there would be, like, ice cream and anchovy sauce. I was like, who would put ice cream on their pizza? Which is my next challenge, actually, is to do a Scooby-Doo pizza. Um, <laughs> there's actually this sort of weird shaggy style pizza. Um, I can't remember what episode it was. But they were in a diner. And the waitress walks up and she goes, Okay, who ordered the uh, Hot Fudge Sunday pizza? Who ordered the pepperoni pizza with the hot fudge sundae with the vanilla ice cream with hot fudge? I was like, I sat there and I thought to myself, that is the weirdest idea in the world. Because, I mean, first off, that would never work. Because ice cream would melt instantaneously all over the place and it would just make a huge mess. So I figured of doing, uh, sometime in the near future, is actually trying, um... Something kind of interesting of actually doing weird food concoctions. And thinking to myself, there were a lot of weird food concoctions out there. And I'm actually going to video some of them and put them up on a blog, kind of a V blog. You know, they'll probably be two part episodes and all that stuff, but you know, you know, they'll be short, you know, like two or three minutes beginning, but then the actual criticism of it all is, you know, what's going to take a lot longer, you know, because, I mean, come on, who wants to go through the whole prep process? But if you don't believe me, this is just a delicious pizza. It has a nice sweet taste to it that doesn't overbear the whole flavor of the pizza. Try it yourself. You know, send me some video response. Also, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, 
put them down below in the comments. You know, I want to see, you know, if you guys want to see more of these, you know, and my Iron Gut Challenge. That's what I'll call it. I'll call it the Iron Gut Challenge. We've heard of Iron Chef. Well, this is the Iron Gut. And what we'll basically do is we'll do pizza. We'll do different food concoctions. And we'll see where we can go with it. You know, how far can we go? Now, things I won't do, anything with veggies, like broccoli or cauliflower, won't do it. Just doesn't agree with my system. Or my taste buds. But, um, you know, if we want to do something kind of weird, or figure out how to, like, make, like, some really weird and kind of nasty stuff, tune into this channel. You might actually see someone you might like, and you might want to try it with your friends. So, until next time, chow down. Delicious.